It's the fifth and final round of the Drive DMAC Trophy, and we're in sunny Spain for the Rally Catalunya Costa Dorada, based in the holiday resort of Salou, an hour south of Barcelona. Last time out, we witnessed an exciting run through the tarmac roads of Rally Deutschland. Britain's Tom Cave surviving a brutal weekend to claim his first win of the season. A holiday magnet for tourists from around the world. They come to Barcelona for the sights and sounds of this cultural city. It hosted stage one, and the sun and sand of the Costa Dorada make this a stunning backdrop for the final round. And the Drive DMAC boys took some time to relax as well pre-event with an impromptu go-kart session in Salou. The crews getting in a bit of tarmac practice for the challenge ahead. Barcelona is situated in the northeast of Spain and is the major city of the Catalonia region. The rally itself is based in the resort of Salou on the Costa Dorada. The championship fight has gone down to the wire between Estonia's Sandapan and young Brit Tom Cave. With a 27-point lead, though, after three wins already this season, it is Pan who's in the driving seat. His mixture of pace and controlled consistent driving throughout the year proving a key factor, and his target for the weekend couldn't be clearer. I think my tactic here will be more uh, to drive as more just to look what, to what Tom does and uh, adjust my driving uh, exactly as fast as needed to win the championship. So the odds might be against Cave from forcing a last gasp championship smash and grab, but with bonus points available for stage wins at the tricky mixed surface event, one slip up from his title rival and Tom would be there to pounce. We're not going to win the championship by just, by just winning the rally this weekend. We need some luck on our side and we need some bad luck from Sanders' side, which obviously I don't wish upon, but that's the only way we're going to win the championship. So, But we're not going to give up, we're going to stay focused, we're going to keep pushing hard and see where we finish on Sunday afternoon. Confirmation then of the championship standings with 25 points available for the rally win and bonus points available for stage wins. The chase begins for Cave. Local star Yere Lemesh is currently third, but he wouldn't be able to compete at his home event. Catalonia is a mixed surface event, starting on gravel before making a switch to tarmac on Saturday morning. The teams must transform the gravel spec fiestas in preparation for the tarmac roads, and one of the many components to be changed are the tyres, as DMAC boss Dick McCormack explains. Here in uh, Spain, WRC Rally, it's a uh, dual surface. Uh, first is uh, gravel, uh, and the other one is asphalt. Uh, on the asphalt, we have uh, two compounds available, one for dry, uh, one for wet. Uh, on gravel we have uh, one gravel tyre and one compound available. Uh, on gravel you've got uh, a reinforced uh, sidewall tyre which has to be strong because the stages are quite narrow here so there's quite a high risk of punctures. On asphalt again the tyres have to be strong um, but uh, smoother surface uh, which complies with the FIA regulations. <laughs> For the first full day of action, the crews would head out to tackle six mainly gravel stages, starting with the short seven kilometres of Gandesa, which was repeated as stage five. From there, they'd head to Pestles, a more testing 26 kilometres. That's repeated as stages three and six. But the big test is the 35 kilometres of Terra Alta, stages four and seven, that has a six kilometre tarmac section just to spice things up. After a quick blast around the streets of Barcelona on Thursday night, the rally proper got underway today. And after his stage win on the Super Special, Frenchman Quentin Gelbert carried his form into day two, winning all the morning stages today, making it four out of four fastest times. However, the Frenchman's perfect start soon came to a halt, broken suspension on stage five, ending his bid for a maiden victory. Championship leader Sander Pan has also had a day to forget. After a slower car rejoined in front of him on stage three, Pan lost visibility in the lingering dust. It cost the Estonian over a minute and put him down to last place. He did, however, recover to fourth by the end of the day. I tried to go okay on the gravel stages, but uh, I'm not so satisfied as I hope to be. 
but fourth, fourth position is not bad and uh, it's good to continue tarmac section and actually I think uh, Spanish tarmac section I like more than Germans. Local hero Neil Solans gave the Spanish crowd something to cheer about. The 22-year-old took his first stage win of the year on stage seven, that time helping him on his way into second position at the end of day two, with Max Vattenen just behind in third. It's quite easy to drive at home with the people and the fans, and, but uh, we are used to, to drive here in that, in that kind of roads, and yeah, good today, we are second now, and let's see tomorrow in Tarmac. And while his championship rivals struggled, Tom Cave did all he could to maximise his title hopes. The Brit claimed two stage wins and has been consistently fast throughout the second day. And with the retirement of Gilbert, Cave now leads the rally with two days remaining. Yeah, it was a good day. Um, pleased with the pace this morning. And then we picked up the pace a bit this afternoon, which, which has definitely worked for us. And then the last stage, um, the intercom, it, it wasn't working for about 10 kilometres, so I really, really struggled. So we had to resort, my, Craig, my co driver, had to use sign language to tell me where to go. So it was a bit interesting. So I just tried to, you know, try and finish that stage without any problems. And we got a good lead tomorrow, so it's important we try and get some more stage points. Cave's lead at the end of Friday stage is over a minute from Neil Solans, with Max Vattenen there in third, Sander Pan fourth, and Simon Konicki in fifth. So the championship race was still very much alive with it all still to play for at the end of day two. But before we take a look at the tarmac action, DMAC team principal Maciek Woda talks us through the difficulties of the mixed surface event that is the Rally Catalonia. Yes, I think this is a very, very challenging event for the, event for the drivers because the driving style on gravel is obviously different than this on tarmac. And when you come into the rally, you usually build yourself into what you're going to do on the stages, how you're going to drive. And obviously, they need to change this mentality overnight from you know being on, on loose surface today and then being very precise on, on very grippy surface tomorrow. So for sure, it's a very big challenge for the drivers as well. For Saturday, the cars would head inland to tackle six tarmac stages, the first measuring just 3.96 kilometers and then the massive 50 kilometers of Escalade. Day. The 26 kilometer Col de Jao would also be run twice and the day finished with a short sprint around the streets of Salou itself. And it wasn't long before the change in surface claimed its first victim. Canadian driver Leo Ulicic misjudging his braking point and smashing into a bridge in stage 10. The damage proved too severe. The 29-year-old was forced to retire before the midway point of the day. Local hero Neil Sullins has put local knowledge to good use thus far. The Spaniard has shown consistently good pace through this third day of action and opened up a healthy gap back to third place man Simon Konicki. I like the Spain tarmac, uh, there are a lot of grip and it's my kind of, of roads and I'm used to, to drive, so a good day today. Maybe we can continue pushing tomorrow and let's see what happens. Brit Tom Cave needs all the bonus points he can collect if he is to overturn the deficit and win this season's championship. But his competitors are not making it easy. Cave limited to just one stage win today, but he maintains a healthy rally lead heading into the final day. Yeah, it's been a good day again. Um, really enjoyed the stages. Nice and fast technical tarmac stages, and uh, the, the long one was was better than I thought it was going to be. The tyres held up well for that one. And uh, this afternoon it was very tricky on the the second pass through the long stage. It was very loose and lots of cuts, so we had to really stay sharp and make sure we didn't make any mistakes. But yeah, it's, it's been enjoyable. And the man he's hoping to beat to this season's title, Estonian Sander Pan. The championship leader hasn't had it all his own way so far in Spain, but a quickest stage time in the final stage of the day and his current fifth place would be enough to secure the championship as things stand. So with one day remaining in the championship, Tom Cave remains out front with that lead of more than a minute from Neil Stalin. Simon Kanicki is third, but with Sander Pan fifth, he remains on course for the title. Gem Fuel is the series official supplier, one of the leading suppliers of sustainable race fuels. Here are a few of the DMAC drivers to tell us more. I, mean, I think it's important to try and you know, use different fuels and I think Gem Fuel is definitely the way forward from my point of view. From my experience of driving the cars with Gem Fuel, they, they do seem to have more power. 
Yes, I have used uh, Gem Fuel now for two years already in this championship, last year as a Junior WSC and now as a Drive Team Equesta Trophy. And I think I really like it because uh, it, it makes the car a little more powerful and it's good for the nature. And Gem Fuel will be back for 2015 with more good news announced by M Sports Malcolm Wilson pre event. We're happy to announce tonight that the DMAC Trophy will be continuing again next year. We stayed on tarmac for the final day, just four tarmac stages remained. Lamasara at 20.48 kilometres the first, that's repeated as stage 16 and followed by the 15 and a half kilometres of Rua de Cañas, stages 15 and 17. So to the fourth and final day of Rally Spain and the conclusion of the 2014 Drive DMAC Trophy. Two drivers came into the weekend with a mathematical chance of taking the title. Brit Tom Cave, the only man that could overhaul the 29-point deficit to championship leader Sander Palm. Heading into the final day, Cave led the rally, but Palm was doing enough to take the crown, sitting in fifth with just four stages remaining today. But it was a nightmare start for Cave in the first test of the day. It all but ended his title dreams. The 22-year-old caught out on cold tyres, sliding off the road and beaching his Ford Fiesta R5. Fans helped the crew get back on the road, but the incident cost them over three and a half minutes and the lead of the rally. It's disappointing uh, end to, wait, to end today. And uh, I can, there's plenty of positives, I think, to pull from this weekend. Um, I've been pleased with my driving. Obviously, up until this morning, I made a little mistake, but... We had to push, we had to try and challenge Sander, see whether we can push him into a mistake, but you know, credit to him and James, they drove well all year. All of that meant this man, Neil Sullins, was handed a two minute lead with just three stages remaining. And after stage 16 was cancelled, the local was able to manage his pace and claim his first win on home soil. I feel so good, it's my first victory in the DMAX, so yeah, now we have to look forward and what happened all the season. It's good for us to be here and one at home, so I'm so happy. Solan's taking the top step of the podium with Tom Cave in second. Simon Kanicki recorded his best result of the season to round off the podium. But the day belonged to Estonia's Sander Pan. His fifth place finish here in Spain was enough to secure the title. Pan taking three of the five rally wins this season and earning himself a drive in the WRC2 next year as a result. It's definitely a dream come true and uh, and uh, I think it's a dream of every uh, young rally driver to win this championship, what, 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 what you have here in the World Rally Championship, and it's, it's great, I think. Uh, so it's, it's good to finish here, the championship like that. Understandably emotional scenes at the end of the final stage, but it was Neil Solans who claimed the final win of the year, winning by two minutes on home soil from Tom Cape with Simon Konicki in third. Further back, Julian de Mervias, Conton Gelbert, Nicolas Samioni and Leonard Ulicic round off the finishing positions. These are the final championship standings then. Pan taking the title by 19 points from Cave with Conton Gilbert in third. After a dramatic season then across five countries, Sander Pan and James Morgan, the first ever Drive DMAC champions.